into full forward. Judge at the back. And Marsh, oh. one hander. Oh. Well, how do you forget when King comes to the club? Uh, it's 983. Bucky's come over as well, the boys from Western Australia. Uh, Ken Judge was um, you know, fantastic for the footy club as a coach. Uh, he came in when pretty much no one else wanted to get involved in the club, when we needed a lot of rebuilding and we needed a real strong leader and he certainly did that. A very skilled goal kicking half forward and of course I guess in the end he was able to make an impact straight away. And, he had a terrific season in 1983. And he was a great supporter of, the, of our footy club. You know, he played here, he was a premiership player at our club. He's obviously made an enormous contribution in, uh, in the coaching area of our club too. And we are all sitting around our seats on the benches and he came in and he, he just got, read the right act from day one. He said, the reality is we're the 15th best team in the competition. And then he went on and on about what we need to do to improve and it was a very emphatic statement that he made as soon as he walked into the footy club as coach. I think everyone said it, he, he was a highly skilled player. Um, he had a great uh, turn. He wasn't quick, but he had, a, had this ability to, to turn in tight spaces and find, find ground. And then uh, if he got anywhere inside 50, he just nailed opportunities. And I think if you look at his record in his first two years when he came over, he, he kicked 42 goals in the premiership year. And then the next, next year, he, he kicked 63 three goals, nearly you know, from about 100 shots from a half forward. So as you know, in the modern game, if if I could find a forward or anyone could find a forward who does that, they're invaluable. So drives Hawthorne back into attack over the half forward line. The ball hits the deck. Coming into meet of this Kennedy actually ran it with his own mate that time, McPherson. Dropping the ball. And uh, McPherson not there the and Judge has already kicked one goal. Into this quarter by just on 19 minutes. That's the second quarter of the 1985 preliminary final. This has been a pretty tough game. There's the kick by Judge. That's a beautiful kick and it's a goal. So the Hawks have hit the front. The most amazing um, conversation ever to have and I was so proud to know that I was going to be captain of a wonderful football club and I'm forever grateful for Ken Judge not only supporting me but really uh, installing uh, great belief and spirit in the football club once again. knows Ken uh, is a passionate and competitive person as a player and uh, of course he was going to bring that to coaching. Um, yeah, he was a volatile coach, you know, he was uh, very, very demanding. But I think uh, he came, came to Hawthorne at a really good time for them. We you know, played a few grand finals but to win 83 was amazing because it was, uh, it was his first and, uh, and you know, like all celebrations, we all get together, we talked about the game. but. But just his skill level around the ground, uh, like if you're shooting for goal, I don't think there's anyone better than Ken Judge uh, shooting for goal. And, uh, you know, I should love a kick of the goal myself, but Kenny, he was the best at it. 140 points to Essendon, 8 yeah, I reckon Ken was a little bit slight of build probably when he was coming through, so he, he probably put the long sleeves on, not to show his skinny arms, and he maybe kept that as he, as he got older. <laughs> oh, or maybe he had a little bit of the tuckies about him in relation to not wanting the sun to get on those little arms. But whenever Hawthorne were in town, um, Judgey would always, uh, always come in. I quite often remember um, seeing him at our, at our team hotel in Perth when we were playing either West Coast or Fremantle and coming to say good day, and um, and we'd have a have a good chat about uh, about sport in general or, or footy. And he gave uh, the players some real confidence, uh, some real spirit, some real belief, um, and we started to get back on track and become a real competitive outfit. So. He's someone that really believed in me as well, so I have a, a really close connection and have had a close connection. Uh, he made me captain and um, you know, I thoroughly respected all the work that he did. 
and he'd catch up with all his mates and he'd be great company at the bar. He's, he's a great storyteller, Judgey. He's a great charismatic character. And, and when he's outside his football bubble as a coach, he was that engaging and endearing that you're just hard not to be drawn to him. So it was a, he was a contrasting figure in my life because he was that really vocal, hostile coach at times, but really good for my game, taught me a lot. And then this, this charismatic, engaging character away from the game, he's, uh, he's going to be sorely missed. A great team man and just an all-round good fella and everyone respected him enormously at the Hawthorne Footy Club and I'm sure throughout the football world. So deeper sympathy to obviously Annette and the boys and uh, he was just a really, really good Hawthorne person. You know, he just put on a terrific fight and we're going to miss him dearly. He had a great capacity for friendship and not only friendship but maintaining friendships. And I think the other thing with Kenny was extremely loyal person and um, you know, that's why people responded to him and loved him. Very, very decorated servant of our club and uh, one that I'm sure, uh, especially amongst his, uh, amongst his teammates who spent a lot of time with him and played a lot of footy with him, that um, yeah, he'll be very sadly missed. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like you to acknowledge the performance of the champion team of 1983. Number one, Ken Judge.